Hello everyone. So welcome back. Today we will learn one uh, important quadrature formula which is called trapezoidal rule. So in our last lecture, we will learn what is general quadrature formula. So trapezoidal rule is a special case of general quadrature formula which we can obtain after putting n equals to 1 in general quadrature formula. So let us see what is trapezoidal rule or trapezoidal formula. So here, uh, First, we have to write general quadrature formula. Okay, so, so which is integration a to b. We know that in place of a we can write x naught, and b is our x naught plus nh f of x dx. And what is the formula? Is h into h is what uh, difference between two arguments for uh, conjugative arguments. So then n y naught plus n square by two delta y naught plus n cube by 3 minus n square by 2 delta square y naught by 2 factorial and then other terms will follow there will be n plus 1 terms okay total number of terms is what n plus 1 because in general what is the formula we have taken n plus 1 arguments okay, so putting let it be equation number 1 this is equation number 1 so putting n equals to 1 and neglecting neglecting uh, second and higher order higher order differences so differences means we're we talking about uh, delta y naught delta square y naught second means from delta square onwards we have to neglect okay so delta square we will not take then after delta square what will come delta cube so those terms will neglect here so only first two term we'll consider. So see what, what we put here n equals to 1. So in the left hand side, so I'm talking about this side. In the left hand side, if we put n equals to 1, so what we'll get? Our integration will be x naught to x naught plus h. So actually it was x naught plus nh, but here we are putting 1 in place of what? Uh, n. So f of x dx. So what is our right hand side? h into First term is n y naught. So n we have taken uh, 1. So it's simply y naught. Then again n square by 2 means half into delta y naught. Then half into delta y naught. Other terms we neglect. It. So h into y naught plus half into uh, delta y naught is what? y1 minus y naught. Okay, y1 minus y0. Now, if you simplify it, or uh, just before that, we can take half common also. Let us take half common. Then, first term will become 2y0, then y1 minus y0. So, after simplification, we will get h by 2, then y0 plus y1. Now, see what is the first term x0. And then, second term is x0 plus h. x0 plus h is our x1. So not n1. So that's why here we are getting y0 and y1. So similarly, similarly, this is our first subinterval lies. First subinterval means what? First we are finding between x0 and x0 plus h. Our next subinterval will be what? x0 plus h to x0 plus twice h. So like this, what is the last term? x0 plus nh. So individually you have to find. First, we find for this part x0 to x0 plus h. Now, similarly, we write for x0 plus h to x0 plus twice h, then x0 plus twice h to x0 plus twice h, uh, and finally, the last one will be x0 plus n minus 1 into h. And then, uh, to find the integral, uh, integration for x0 to x0 plus n h, we have to add all these integration. So, that I will uh, show. So, before that, let us find. Uh, x0 plus h2, x0 plus twice h, f of x dx. So in the same way, if you find it, no, it will be h by 2. Now what will come? In the first part, it is y0 plus y1. Now we have advanced the subinterval to 1. So now it will be y1 plus y2. Okay, y1 plus y2. Outside there will be always h by 2. How will you remember that this is y1 plus y2? See x0 plus h is our x1 so that's why y1 and this one no 
x0 plus twice h is nothing but what x2. So from x1 to x2. So if it is from x1 to x2, it will be y1 plus y2. Like this, you can remember. Or otherwise, you can solve also. So in the same way, our next term will be x0 plus twice h2, x0 plus twice h, f of h dx. So this will be our h by 2. Now it will be what? y2 plus y2. Okay. So in the same way, we will write the other integrals. Finally, for the last sub interval, last, uh, last sub interval is what? x0 plus n minus 1 into h2, x0 plus nh, f of x and dx. So this one will be what our, uh, our h by 2, then this is y n minus 1 plus y n. Okay. Now see, uh, we know that suppose uh, integration 0 to 4 f of x dx. So we can write now there is one property in definite integral 0 to 1 f of x dx plus then 1 to 2 f of x dx plus then again uh, 2 to 3 f of x dx and then finally 3 to 4 f of x dx. Okay, there, there is one property in definite integral. In, by using this particular rule, so here also if we want to find this particular integral x0 to x0 plus nh f of x dx, okay, f of x dx, it will be what? First integration is x0 to x0 plus h f of x dx plus x0 plus h2 x0 plus twice h f of x dx, then x0 plus twice h2 x0 plus twice h f of x dx. So in the same way, so our last integration will be n minus 1 h2 x0 plus n h f of x dx. So all the values we have already uh, already find. So what is this number? The first value of the integration is h by 2 y0 plus y1. Then second one will be our h by h by 2 y1 plus y2 and then h by 2 y2 plus y3 in the same way our last one will be h by 2 then y n minus 1 plus y n now see from all the integral we can take h by 2 come on and if you observe all the term carefully you know why not occur only once similarly y n is also occur only once so y not is the very first term and y n is the very last term. But all the other terms, no, they are occurring twice. You see, y1 here, one term here, one term. So that we can write 2 into y1. Similarly, y2 occur twice. So 2 into y1, y2, y3, and dot 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 by n minus. So this formula is very easy to remember. H by 2, first term plus last term, that is y0 plus y1 plus 2 into all other terms. Okay, so this is trapezoidal rule. It's a special case which we can occur from general quadrature formula after putting n equals to one and neglecting second and higher order differences. Okay. Now let us do one example. So see here in this problem, our x naught is how much zero? Then uh, x naught plus n h is how much two? And h is given in the question what we have to take h 0.25. If it is not mentioned, then we can uh, choose according to uh, uh, according to our convenience, whatever we want to take. And f of x is 1 by x square plus 4. So let us make a table to find all the values. So, x and then f of x. First term is x naught, right? Our x naught is how much? 0. Then second term will be what? x naught plus h. Our x naught is 0 and h is 0.25. So it is 0.25. Then uh, x naught plus twice h. That means 0 plus 2 into uh, 2 into 0.25. So it will be our 0.5. So like this, you just in each step add 1.25, then it will be 0.75. After that one, 
then 1.25, then 1.5, 1.75, and finally 2. So here of this two will stop because our upper limit is 2. Now, how to find f of x? See, f of x is given here. f of x is how much? 1 divided by x square plus 4. So, first if we put 0, it's 1 by 4. 1 by 4 is our uh, 0 0.25. 0 0.25. Then, in place of x, we have to put 0.25. So, it will be 1 divided by 0 0.25 whole square plus 4. So, those things you can uh, calculate by using calculator. So, it will be your 62 and this number will be your 0.2353. So, all the numbers you can easily find by using calculator. So, that is not a problem. So, if we put 0 0.75, we will get uh, 0.2192 and after putting 1, it is 1 divided by 5, so it's 0.2 and then 0.1798. Then after putting 1.5, you will get uh, 0 0.16. Next is our 1.416. And finally, if you put 2, it will be 1 by 8. Okay, 1 by 8 is our 1, 2, 5, 6. So this number, no? this number is x0. This is our x1. Or you can say x0 plus x, x2, x3, x4, x5, x6 x7 and what x8 similarly these numbers are y0 y1 y2 y3 y4 y5 y6 y7 and what y8 so since we have to use a trapezoidal rule so simply write this very simple by trapezoidal rule trapezoidal rule we have so what is the formula Integration 0 to 2 dx divided by x square plus 4 is how much? What is the formula? h by 2, then what I said? First term plus last term. So here the first term is y0 and last term is what? y8 plus 2 into other terms. Means y1, y2, y3, y4, y5, y6 and finally what? y7. So all the values are there in the table, right? So from the table, just you have to put all the values here. H is how much? H is 0.25. It's already given in the question. 0.25 divided by 2. And then the values of Y0, Y8. So just put all the values from the table. Calculate. And after calculation, you'll get a number like this. So this is the answer. So it's a very simple problem. Okay? Within a very few seconds, you can do this problem. So let us take one more problem. Here, see, a rocket is launched uh, from the ground. Its acceleration is uh, registered during the first 80 seconds. And it is uh, in the table below. So it's given, see, at 0 second, the acceleration is about 30. At 10 seconds, it is 31.63. Uh, 31 so like this, till 80 seconds, all the accelerations are uh, provided to us. So what to find? We have to find uh, the velocity. Okay, so we have to find the velocity at t equal to what 80 seconds, and by using which formula? Trapezoidal rule. So let's start then. See, this value is our y naught. Huh? This is already given in the question y naught and y one. Similarly, y two y3, y4, y5, y6, y7, y8. So here also uh, eight different arguments and entries are given. So here h equal to how much? h, to so see the difference is 0, 10, 20. So here h equal to how much? h equal to 10. And n means number of subdivision is how much? 1, 2, okay, so this is 1, then 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So here n equals to what? 8. That you don't need, but uh, sometimes 
we are writing no x not to x not plus n h. So what is n? n is number of subdivision. So here it is eight. Now what to find? We have to find the velocity. Acceleration is given. Okay. So here acceleration given. So acceleration sometimes we are denoting by f or sometimes by a. This centimeter per second square. So what is the velocity then? We know that that dv by dt is equals to how much f, right? dv by dt equals to what f. So from this dv equals to its how much f into dt. So we don't need dv. We need what v. So to get v, we have to integrate it. So integration v equals to how much? After integration, v will be equals to integration f dt. Okay, integration f dt. So see here f is our f of x. Okay, so in trapezoidal rule, we know that this is a formula again, trapezoidal rule. So what is the left hand side? Integration f of x dx, right? Integration f of x dx. And what is the right hand side? h by 2, then y not plus y n, then 2 into other terms. So exactly the same thing we can use here. We have to find integration f dt between 0 to 80. Na? So our limit will be here 0 to 80 because after 80 seconds you have to find uh, from the starting point. So integration is 0 to 80 f of t d. So therefore velocity after t equal to what 80 second will be your integration 0 to 80 f of t dt. It's very simple just write the formula h by 2 then how much? First term plus last term. You see from the table, our last term is what? Y8. Okay, Y8. Then 2 into all other terms. Plus 2 into Y1, Y2, then Y3, Y4, Y5, Y6, Y7, and then Y8. Okay. So again, nothing to find out. H is our 10. 10 by 2. And all the other terms, y0, y1, each and every value is provided to us in the table. So you see, y0 is 30, y1 is 31.63, right? So similarly, y8 is what? 40.67. So kindly put all the values here. Okay. The values you put here, otherwise it will be a little bit long. So after calculation, you will get 3037.96. Okay. So this is the velocity after what? 30. Uh, after 80 seconds, this centimeter per second. Okay. Now, see the formula is also very simple from general quadrature formula. You can easily deduce after putting n equal to 1. Okay. Then the formula is also very simple. So, I hope it's you know, clear to all of you. And thank you for watching. And we will uh, meet soon in the next video. Thank you. Again.